Peace, family. Mass Kwesi, Go Hard Africa. If you're new to the channel, you uh, like, share, and subscribe. My name is Mass Kwesi. I tell my journey here in the Gambia, West Africa. And I haven't, um, I haven't really been on YouTube as a YouTuber, but thanks for all the people that have subscribed. I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers. You know, I, I noticed that the other day. I'm, I'm, I haven't been someone that have been looking to, uh, you know, build a YouTube channel because this is the problem with YouTube. Most people that get involved with YouTube are looking to monetize their, you know, their content. So it's largely a, a job for most people or a way that they can try to make money. But in any case, it's not a lot of money in it. You know, so you have people, you have to spend an extraordinary amount of time up on YouTube in order to uh, monetize your channel and things like that, uh, unless you have another business that you, you have that supported. But in any case, most YouTubers up here are looking to make money. That has caused a tremendous problem. If you're watching my channel, I'm, I'm, you're going to get a channel. I'm not going to tell you 10 things you need to know before you come to Gambia, you know, uh, what you know, attractions. It's not going to be that type of blogging type thing. I'm going to tell you exactly what's taking place through my own experience. And, and I'll tell you this, the same level of mental illness that exists in the States exists here amongst diaspora and even amongst continental Africans, as we all know. But we're going to talk about, because we're talking about, you know, um, systematic uh, racism, um, colonization of the mind. Mostly we're talking about, you know, about mind and, and how we were able to or how we allowed ourselves to be, you know, uh, indoctrinated with a philosophy and ideas that are, you know, are against our way of life and who we are. In any case, the black man and woman in America, I think we... We express the highest level of this destruction, this self-destruction mentality. And, uh, you know, and we see it in the society there in America. I mean, America is a society that has taken up of a whole group of people, brought it into its belly and, you know, gave it the worst of everything. So we see that society and we see how that society is failing, you know, uh, morally. You know, I was watching... Um, Go Black to Africa the other day, and uh, he was sharing a video about Martin Luther King and how Martin Luther King shared he feared that he has led his people into a burning house, you know, and that integration was not good for us as a people. Now, any, you know, uh, I, I'm not a, a, a biblical uh, a scholar or anyone like that, but I came up, I was just sharing with someone in uh, the Kingdom Hall. I used to go to the Kingdom Hall with my uncle, and, you know, uh, even at an early age, you know, going to Bible school and uh, my book of Bible stories. You know, uh, you know, I, I was familiar with the, the, the Bible and in the Bible, God never told the children of Israel to integrate with Pharaoh. Every message in the Bible of a deliverance of the people was about separating from them. OK, you know, so especially you, you coming from a religious perspective and you look at it and you think, OK, what America represents. And then, you know, the story of Babylon and, and, you know, just being able to tie all of that in and see that no, there's no way that you can integrate into a society that isn't built for you and built for your success, you know, regardless. And then I think we've seen that we see it in our communities and we've been fed a whole ideology and philosophy that was really against our, our ancestral values and the values that we held 40, 50, 60 years ago when we had our self-worth and our self-identity. So we've seen all of that attacked. And I, I was planning on just going up here a quick, uh, quick 10 minutes because I wanted to talk about, you know, just the, uh, you know, the issue that we're seeing with, you know, those who are looking to come to Africa. However, they're bringing that same mental illness here with them. In this movement, there is no. Over the past few years, I've been. Harassed and you know stalked and i've had all of these weird experiences here dealing with you know brothers and sisters that's supposed to represent the movement and 
at the highest level too, you know, I'm, I, from from the people that just came, you know, that's fly by night, that looking for 15 minutes of fame off of the, you know, at the expense of the century of return. You know, we have many of those, these 15 minute fame or people, but the ones that's embedded into the movement, the ones that's embedded that, that have YouTube channels and that are promoting. Now, this is what we have to watch out for and this is what they don't like about me. When you look at them, you can see that they don't represent true progress and what we need to do in, uh, for our people. However, they may get a lot of support. You know, I'm talking about financial. That's why the, the donations, you know, sending donations to people who are not uh, nonprofit organizations, that could be very uh, detrimental to our growth, very detrimental. I've seen tens of thousands of dollars of donation money go towards negative, you know, negative campaigns, you know, people spending uh, time, energy, and money to uh, create a negative image of other brothers and sisters, the one who they claim that, you know, uh, this whole movement is about bringing together, unifying, and unifying the family, and being one nation, and being one people, and it, it's all, uh, it's obviously hypocritical. YouTube is not a place where we're going to find, you know, um, well, I mean, you can, it depends on where you're looking, you know, people who really represent their business and, you know, one of my does a, a tremendous job of, 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 of showcasing that and the tons of other people out there that do, you know, that's on YouTube doing positive, but we're talking about, you know, uh, individuals that are in movement looking to exploit the movement and, 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 and participate in, in uh, campaigns that smear the image and tarnish the image of other brothers and sisters that are in the movement. First of all, we can we have to respect other people's country. We're in somebody else's country. So we have to respect the laws. We have to act like, you know, decent and civilized people. And okay, given is, you know, that's asking for too much because most people will be corrupted, especially when they come into a new environment where they have a superiority complex. And that's what we have been seeing for most people. And then, you know, these people, you know, we have to be careful of who we allow to be our leaders. Every man is uh, capable of a uh, of flaw. And this is what we, ha we see happening. We have a lot of progress that's been held up because of this division here, and it's it's all throughout Africa. It's all throughout Africa in, in, in the community. So that's why you have to you really have to make sure that you're in the in the right circles and the right groups of people, and uh, make sure you know um, you you can't deal with everybody. You know, and you know our people is you know it's just uh you know it, it's a problem. We have to focus on the youth. We have to focus on the youth population here on the continent. You know, in the U.S. And getting our best and bright and brightest, like a uh, uh, Mark Meet Africa. I, I, you know, I watched his video. I, I think I'm at. I think the first time I watched it was probably a, you know actually a few days ago. But I've seen him around. I mean, he was just speaking about the same thing. And I try to speak on it on a few lives, but I couldn't get on because of you know the uh, connection here is horrible sometimes. Uh, well, a lot of times, you know, it's a lot of infrastructural challenges, but it's a lot of promise. But at the same time, the sad thing is uh, we have all of this trauma being displayed before the world and this same mindset from our people that, you know, we at least we thought the ones that would come here would operate in a different manner than the West. But we, we're having seen the same thing, which is leading to all types of financial exploitation, you know, money's being lost in land deals, money's being lost in businesses because we're doing everything as individuals. You know, here, court cases, court cases, you know, you got, you know, it's just so much negative, man, that, uh, you know, that's going to come naturally because it's a part of the dynamic, you know, depending on what circles you are moving in, you know. So, I, you know, I chose to remove myself from the those who um, choose to, you know, use their time, energies and resources to uh, uh, put personal issues before the public and, you know, and, and those type of people and those uh, groups of people. And that's the same thing that you'll have to do in your journey. So I wanted to get on. I wanted to speak a little bit because my, my lives were going out, you know, for my, my people. You, if you're watching my channel, I promise you anytime that I come on, I will not ask you for a donation. You know, I've never asked, 
you know, for people to do, uh, to support what I'm doing. I spend my own time, energy, and money, and laying the foundation and, and and putting the money where it should go. You know, as I always share, if you look at my videos, you always see me doing something productive, something positive with the people. You know, our personal issues and our personal uh, problems. If you're coming into the country, go through the proper channels. Go through the proper channels uh, and, and, uh, with your grievances. Don't bring that onto YouTube. We don't need that type of thing and that type of nonsense, you know, uh, in, in, in front of people, in front of the world. Uh, and, uh, and, and then, and most of the times, you know, you're dead wrong in your, in, in, in your situations. So, you know, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Mask Quasi. Go Hard Africa. Until next video. Peace.